Dan, the, the team being put together over the last eight years is all, all Laura's doing. Uh, building the team to over 300 members of Eastern Propane, our employees, our, their families, uh, our customers, uh, our vendors, and members of the community. And then over the years, Laura's built a, uh, uh, built a friendship with several Sussex County runners that she's accepting her first place or getting her medal in her age group and meeting all the other fast people. And so Team Eastern has the, the health and wellness part where everybody comes out and runs or walks or uh, young and old uh, to get out there to keep, keep uh, in movement. And then uh, the, the 11 that went to Boston uh, uh, are some of Laura's closest friends uh, that have run with us and great Sussex County uh, former high school athletes and other people that are very much into the running. The, uh, when we decided uh, to go to Boston was uh, Laura and I were at a propane industry meeting in Atlanta and we're getting ready to board the plane uh, to come home last year and we saw all sorts of people going to the uh, televisions and next thing you know we're going to the television screens people are huddling and the whole Boston bombing is unfolding so I think it was on the plane home she says I'm doing Boston and she reached out to the team and there was a core of 11 that said, we're going to Boston, we're gonna go support Boston, they're gonna need healing. And they all trained all year, uh, stayed in touch all year, uh, and went up and just did one heck of a job. It was a wonderful experience. It's my uh, 11th uh, Boston Marathon, and uh, it's just such a special experience. Um, it's the oldest marathon uh, in, in the world since 1896, and it's got such a rich tradition uh, on Patriots Day, and it's a state holiday, so the crowds come out and families come out, and it's just been uh, a, a great tradition um, in Massachusetts. And uh, the crowd support was unbelievable. Uh, they let in uh, about 10,000 more runners than they had in the past just to try to uh, beef up some support this year after last year's tragedy and uh, encouraged all of the uh, fans to, to come out and all the local towns to support. So it was just a very special experience, um, very uplifting and energetic um, and just uh, something this year was very special. I got to run with my son, uh, Brendan. Uh, which was a, a real gift and uh, it's something I'll, I'll cherish for forever. It was actually a, a great trip for us. Uh, we had a, a nice team to go up there with, which is always a little bit more exciting than doing the journey by yourself. And uh, this year, especially after the tragic events of last year, uh, it was something that actually Laura had brought up the idea of going up there and trying to get a few people to qualify. And so last year, we all ran different marathons to hit the qualifying standard and then uh, give us the opportunity to go up and take part in that special event. It was one of the greatest experiences of my life. Um, you know, uh, just the, the electricity up there, especially a year after the bombings, was uh, incredible. I've done, uh, you know, seven or eight marathons, but nothing compares to this. Uh, you know, along the entire course, uh, you know, it goes. It went back about you know seven, seven, eight people. I've never uh, quite had an experience like that before. So it was great. It was fun. Everybody ran ran well, and the whole weekend was 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 a great weekend to be there. Just talk about the atmosphere up there. I mean, I saw someone on TV. Just it seemed like the city was just electric. It was electric. I've been to many major sporting events. The f when the Yankees won the World Series, I've never seen five solid hours of thousands of cheering people. I was around the finish line in many different sections during the uh, the day, and from the wheelchairs to the runners to the person, a uh, great that uh, United States and American won, but to the people finishing six, six hours later. The fans never left the finish line and I've never seen so much uh, support and so many smiles and it was an absolute beautiful, perfect day. How important is it for Eastern Propane? You guys give so much back to the community, but this has become real special for you. I know you, your dad goes to events and he walks and runs. Just talk about how this is so important to Eastern Propane, promoting wellness, well, health and wellness. Well, years ago, uh, I'll give the credit to Sue Zellman, former freeholder, reached out, said, Rob, I'd like you to attend a meeting of the Pioneering Healthier Communities. Uh, the whole country has a, uh, a fitness problem, an obesity problem, and I'd like 
like you to try to let's get together and collaborate on what we can do to get people more mobile. And so uh, touch base with Laura. She said, let's let's get people out there walking, running. My dad at 86, still out there doing 5Ks. Uh, looking forward to doing several events with us again this year. But uh, to, to Eastern Propane, it allows us to uh, allow a venue for our employees to come out and be active. The team atmosphere is wonderful. Uh, and we now getting involved with Girls on the Run. My nieces are involved. And it just gets... Uh, um, it expands throughout all age groups and the importance of getting out from behind the computer screen and behind your little phone and, and getting out there and being active. Someone out there watching this wants to get involved with Team Eastern. Obviously, you don't have to work there to be part of it. How would they get involved with Team Eastern? Well, you can you can reach out to, to our website or reach out to uh, uh, Laura. And if you want to come out and uh, sign up, we have uh, like four events that the team will support. Otherwise, we promote and we hope to have uh, our yellow jerseys out there in many Sussex and Morris County uh, uh, events.